Okay, on this video I'm going to show you how to do uh, enemy spawning. So I want to click start here and then you're going to see an enemy coming down the hallway and there's more multiples coming down. See they keep coming down. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I did the spawning there for the monsters here. Alright, so we go to our main room here. And right here is, it's called Object Spawn. And up here, Object Spawn. So we make an Object Spawn square, not visible. Do a create event, then we drag over a timer in the main two tab. I set it for 20 milliseconds. Alarm zero kicks in, and then it's going to do create instance of object monster one. So object monster one is what I talked about in the in the past, where uh, you hit you hit object monster one, and then it jumps to object monster. Uh, two and then three and then four because you know you hit him four times then he finally goes to being dead so that's how we did the hit counts on the monster so monster one's going to come in and you hit him he goes to hit, hit two hit three hit four but um i'm not going to go into detail with this because this is talking about the monster itself i've already talked about that i'm just talking about the spawning so you uh, go over to your main one tab, drag over a crate instance, and then you put in object monster one, which is the, the actual monster block right there. And you set it X and Y to zero and set it to relative. That way it's gonna be it's gonna be positioned on the floor exactly. Don't need an X or Y coordinate. Then you put, then you set the alarm for one millisecond, so it jumps right away. So you don't, you don't want to have them multiple. You don't want, to, you don't want to have this set to like fifty or ten or whatever or five, because then a lot of them will come out at one time. So you really want just one to come out at a time. So keep that at one millisecond. Then it's going to jump to alarm one, and then after a hundred milliseconds 101 milliseconds it's going to jump back to alarm zero and it's going to generate another monster so i mean you could change this to 200 if you wanted to so it goes slower so i could change that to 200 and then the monsters wouldn't be coming out so fast so you want to, the thing is you want to make sure that this is set to one millisecond because if you do five or whatever like i said it's going to generate quick multiples of monsters right behind one another and you don't want that to happen you just want one to spit out at a time so set that to one and then you, then it's going to be 201 basically before another one's going to spit out and depth minus 10 here but make sure it's not visible this the spawning here and then play it and i'll just show you one more time That's my camera's blurring up there for a second. I don't know. Hopefully, it'll be okay. But you get the gist of it, basically. Ah, uh, it's getting blurred. Let's see, come on, go back to sharpness. Well, you get the gist of it. Um, another one comes out. Hit it. Let's see, now it's slower. Now it comes out slower, the monster, which is better. Before it was coming out too quick, so 100 was too low. So you really want to have set it to 200 or more, basically. So that's how you do the spawning for your monsters. All right, and I think, and then, um. I took out the, the shield here, so you want to make sure you put the shield back. Put the off thunder 
back on there. Uh, I set this, snap this to 10. And then you also want to put the the shield back on there. So, like I said, when you when you're done messing with your room, put those two images back. That way, your thunder and shield will work when you collect your items. Because, like I said, these are treated as placeholders. And then when you cra when you grab your your shield or thunder and you press the button to use it, it switches your placeholder to the image of the thunder. So, you want to make sure that's in in there when you're done with the room. All right, thanks for watching.